Hey guys, go get your making more videos again. And today, guys, we're gonna be looking at awesome garage door rollers to stop that squeaky garage door noise of yours. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So here's the garage door right here. And first, I want to show you real quick how squeaky it is when I actually to open the garage door. As you can see, ready for it? So as you can see, it's extremely loud, and I hope the camera caught the squeakiness and everything like that, but it's the, the main thing is just loud and just, you know, you can hear everything, and I kind of want to, uh, I kind of want to lower that volume. So I'm going to close the garage door right now, and you can hear it right there even more. It's really loud in here. So even closing it, it's extremely loud, but now with the nylon rollers, it should be a lot quieter. So let's get to it. Real quick, I want to show you guys the difference between the brand new smooth. As you can see, it's super smooth, lightweight, easy, and this is just, you can hear the noise. Ready? You can hear the sounds and you know, it's, it, and this metal brushing against metal, it just makes that noisy sound. It's just, you know, and this is just crystal clear smooth you can't even hear anything but definitely high quality right here guys i love it actually the first step what you're going to do is to actually take off the mechanism that's holding the uh you know the garage door opener itself the machine so make sure you have it unhooked and that's as simple as just removing that tab right there in most garage doors very similar now uh, you know you just move this bad boy like from here you don't need any bolts i did it with my fingers and it's simple it removes it and so now you can just literally with your hand pull this garage door open close it back up with your hand without using the motor Alrighty guys, so the first step right now, I already did the other side and I'm excited for this guys because man, it's super quiet. So the first step, what you want to do is get to this corner right here and every garage door should have a corner like this. And what you want to do is kind of bend outwards like so, okay? So first I'm going to bend it outwards. So as you can see, I'm going to use just pliers, just regular plain simple pliers and bend it in like around three spots. Like so, grab it and just, you know, pull it out one, two and three just have like about an inch or so just to, you know don't make it don't bend it too much too far anything like that just have it like that all right so what are you gonna do is basically pull this garage door all the way to the top and you can see it's very noisy and what you want to do is basically grab it all the way to the top like here grab your hammer and Bring the wedge part of the hammer underneath the actual wheel, as you can see, pull the wheel like so. And easy way to do it is just by kind of going up like here, like so, and it pops out of place. And then basically pull it into your direction and bam, you're good to go. Take the old one out and put the new guy back in. And guys, I am an amateur at this. However, this is like a very simple mod. So once you actually get it in like here, like so, just push it back up like this. And let it pop back in place as you can see it pops back in place easily and then all you have to do is the rest the same way take it out like so take the old guy out put the new guy in that simple bring it down pop it in bring it back up and it goes back into place like that easy under there pop it out like so easy peasy Take it out, get the new guy, put it back in easy, and then bring it down, pop it back in, and bam, look at that. Perfect, simple, easy. And now the last step is that one, and that's a little different. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But before you do that one, make sure you close this back up by taking your pliers and bending it back into place. For the last one, it's actually very simple as well. All you have to do is do the same bending technique right here and pop that bad boy from here and then pop it back into place. It's really that simple, guys, and I'm already starting to do that, but beautiful design, and as you can see, all of them are already in there, easy peasy. As you can see, it's already popping it back out, and we're gonna put that new guy in, and we'll be good to go. Last part is obviously hooking this guy back up to the mechanism, and that's as simple as, you know, how you unhooked it. 
Basically, that's as simple as, you know, removing this clip off right here. This is the, probably the easiest thing in the whole thing. Putting this guy back into place like so. And putting the clip back on. And let's see how it sounds. Alrighty guys, so now I've installed the new rollers in all the garage doors. And man, I love it guys, I love it. I wish you were actually here to see, feel the difference in person. But, here you go, I'm gonna show it to you. And look at that, super quiet. Just solid, solid, so quiet. Rollers are awesome, they're gone. The old rollers are gone and just amazing. Now the loudest thing on here is literally the motors. And you can see the old rollers right there, taking them off. And now I'm gonna actually just, uh, you know, put them in a box, recycle them, and man, this is awesome guys. I am loving these new rollers guys. Links are in the description below guys. You know what to do. I am loving these so much right now and, and it was so easy to install and I know you will love them. Alrighty guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. The garage door rollers are so much quieter and it just fe I just feel like I got a brand new garage door. Links are in the description below and you're gonna be surprised at the price. There should be other videos popping up around here. Make sure you click on them. Enjoy them, they're for you to watch. But other than that, guys, can you just share saying thanks for watching and peace.